Hello, wonderful students. We are here again to treat civic education. Last week, we talked about the importance of election. And a quick reminder of the points discussed as in the importance of election. We have number one, election efforts to choose our leaders. Number two, we are able to choose to change government easily. Not only that, election enable us to make use of the political education given to us during the period of campaign and so on and so forth. Today we'll be looking at the topic free and fair election. Free and fair election. At the end of the lesson, the students should be able to explain free and fair election and state the need for free and fair election. What is free and fair election? Whenever there is conduction of election and there, is, there are no hiccups, there are no manipulations, by the people to make the result of the election to be otherwise. It can be said to be free and fair election. When citizens vote, or when they want to elect the candidate of their choice into power, and this is done without electoral malpractices, this is referred to as free and fair election. The electoral malpractices here that we are talking about includes rigging of the ballot papers, rigging of the election through number one, when the person voting is not the person that registered, they were just choosing for, their, for them to have their own results, not to, not to speak the mind of the people house. That is rigging. There's stealing of ballot boxes. When you see some touts being employed by some politicians or some political parties, for them to win, they would turn every, they would turn the area of voting, that is the polling units, into another thing and they will cause chaos and steal the ballot papers, the, the ballot boxes, to empty the original or viable or the, 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 the credible elected or, vote, or voters' um, ballot papers for their own man-made ballot papers. All these, they are the electoral malpractices. But what we are focusing on today is free and fair election, whereby the election process is not altered. The election process is not manipulated. There is no hiccups in the process of the election and everything went smooth, smoothly. Then it is called free and fair election. Let's look at the need for free and fair election. Why is free and fair election so much important to us? You know, we have said that election is one of the pillars of democracy. Without election, there cannot be democracy. So why do we now need that election to go on smoothly? Why do we need that election to be free of hiccups, to be free from the manipulation of the people. Number one, legal framework. What do we mean by legal framework? This is when the electoral laws, the governing voters registration, the political parties, the candidates, they are all following the normal electoral procedures. 
Electoral laws are there to guide the political parties. Political parties are there to ensure that they follow the, the electoral law processes, what they have stated as law in question. And also the, the candidate must not go out of the law, the electoral law precepts. So this is number one thing. There is a law that is called electoral law. It is the legal framework of election, whereby these are the law that all the following must follow. The political party, the candidates, the voters, and so on and so forth. Then let's look at the electoral system. Electoral system, you will see electoral system as the procedures to be followed during the election. The procedures to be followed during the elections. And the political parties, the media, the voters, they must follow this system before the election. They must follow this system during the election and they must follow this system even after the election. What are the systems we are talking about? A quick reminder of the procedures for election. Number one, you must register as a voter. Without voter's registration card, you cannot elect, you cannot, you cannot vote on the election date. It is that voter's registration card that you take along to the polling unit to show that you are eligible to vote. Then when the election starts, there is what we call what is called accreditation. Accreditation is counting the number of people that want to vote for the election. And not only counting them, verifying, ensuring that the people or the person that is holding the card is the actual owner of the card by checking the picture of the person holding it, by checking, asking their names, and so on and so forth. Then they are on the queue during the election. You must count the number of people on the queue and you announce it. It must be noted down to ensure that by the time the ballot paper is being counted, it is the same as the number of the elected accredited in the first instance. Having done that, you give them the ballot papers to vote where they are going to turn print on their choice of candidate and their choice of party, their choice party. But if they did not submit the ballot paper, voting has not taken place. So it is very, very important for them to submit it. And in the course of submitting it, they must ensure that they were turn printed on the appropriate column and they did not double some print. All these, they are the example of during election. Before election, you, you, the political party, for example, can campaign to educate the electorate. They can campaign to let them know their manifestos and so on and so forth. Excuse me. And the next one is, Electoral watchdog, another important, another free and fair election importance is electoral watchdog. When the election is taking place, it is not only the local, the only the people at the polling unit that is watching. Even at the international why at the international, the international bodies, they are watching to see if there is going to be free and fair election. And not, not only international bodies, other interested individuals as well ensure that they, they watch to be like a watchdog to see how things are being carried out during the election to show that election is free and fair. In Nigeria, the electoral body that operates is called INEC, which is Independent National Electoral Commission. They are the one that monitors, that organize 
the election processes. They ensure that it is professionally handled. They ensure that it is, it is transparent to people, not in fear or favor of anybody. They ensure that all the materials are being made as at when due. The next one that we're going to look at is right to elect and be elected. The right to elect means the voters. Then the right to be elected means the candidate. So free and fair election is important for us to, have, to know our right to elect and to know our right to be elected. Like I discussed earlier before now, that right to elect, before you can be an electorate, you must be a citizen of the country, you must be above 18, you must be 18 or above years of age, you must be a resident of that particular country, and the right to be elected, your age must commensurate with the required age of such post that you are going for. Not only that, you must also be a citizen of such country, not only that, you must be sane. There should not be record of insanity in the candidates. Then the educational qualification, the list for, for any political office is YX certificate. And you must be crime free. You must have crime free record because any ex convict cannot be elected into the power of authority. I mean, the position of authority. So, right to be elected and elect and to be to to elect and be elected is very very key in free and fair election. If some citizens are under age between age eleven to seventeen, if you see a seventeen year old person, you might take him for twenty year old. But notwithstanding, they they still do not have the right to elect because they are yet to be up to 18 years. So for free and fair election, if under H is coming to vote, then there is no free and fair election. If the person is as ex-convict history, then it is no longer free and fair election. So all these have to be there. Meanwhile, for those that are eligible to vote and for those that are eligible to be elected, there should be no discrimination either on where they come from, based on their color, based on their tribe, based on their gender, based on their sex, or based on their religion, or based on their language. All these things are very, very important in obtaining free and fair election. The next one is voter registration and register. This is an important role that the HANEC usually carried out first before making every other thing to be in place. There cannot be credible election without a register where all the eligible voters have been recorded. The eligible voters' details have been recorded. And from this register, a voter registration card will now be issued to every voter so that they can be able to vote. The INEC ensures that registration is being done, which serve as the basis for free and fair election. Register, it is an important keynote in free and fair election. And how is this being done? There are words for different local governments in different states, whereby registration is being done. And the electorates, the, the, the legible ones are being told to go to these various wards where they, that is close to their residence, where they can go and vote in the, on the election day. So at the registration center, all the necessary requirements is, requir is, is, is requested from the candidates. They will take it down, take their, take, take their picture by snapping them, and 
get their fingerprint and the necessary information that is needed. So the next one is democratic electoral campaign. If there are no campaigns, it would be slim to have free and fair election. Gone are those days that people vote blindly. People no longer vote blindly. Campaigns are being done in different town halls. Campaigns are being done in different particular strategic positions of the country, of the state, where they make their intentions known to the candidate, to the, to the, to the electorate, through the media, through the access of the media. The political party have freedom of speech to campaign, to state their manifestos. Manifestos are their list of functions that they want to discharge to the people when they get to power. And at times, the, the government might sponsor the political parties. And for free and fair election, every party that is eligible to stand as a political party should be funded equally. There should be no, no partiality to the ruling party or to the government to the party in that is in government at the present and as well even the the party will have freedom of speech to go to media not that the the ruling party will dominate the media and they will have fun access as well if the government chooses to generally fund the political parties. The, the, the ruling party should not dominate the media with the power of incumbency. The next one is political parties and candidate registration. Another point that ensure free and fair election is for the INEC, or INEC body. The, the INEC as electoral body should announce the registration for the political parties when it is going to start and when it is going to end the closing date. When this is not being announced, and all of a sudden they just announce that it has closed, those that are being cut out that they were not allowed to register from there. There is no free and fair process. So for free and fair process to be on, so that we can achieve free and fair election at the end of the day, it is important for the INEC commission, for the INEC as a commission to announce to the political parties and their candidates to the date their registration will start and the date their registration we close. The last but not the least is the freedom of expression and access to the media. One thing that usually happens is that majorly during this period, the ruling party always used the power of incumbencies to dominate the media to, because they have money because they are in power. So they try to buy up the necessary time to campaign about themselves, to make themselves known to everyone. So this, when this is done, there will not be free and fair election. But when every political party is given access to the media so that everyone can express their their mind, their intention, their manifestos to the people, so that people should be the judge of whom they want to rule them. Then there's going to be free and fair election. When they are threatening political parties or candidates not to talk, not to, not to express themselves, then there will be no free and fair election. When people are given the access to the media and the access to express themselves, then there will be to, there will be free there will be free and fair election to the during the election. Thank you. We have come to the end of the class. But before we go, it is important for us to recap what we have treated.
we treated the topic free and fair election. And I said that free election is said to be free and fair when there is no hiccups during election, when there are no manipulations, when people select or elect their choice of candidates into government without rigging, without stealing of ballots, without any electoral malpractices. And the following are the needs for free and fair election. We have the standard law that governs in, in the process of registration, the standard law that governs the political parties, the standard law that governs the media, the standard law that governs the candidates. They are all called legal framework. We have the electoral system, which talks about the procedures that should be followed during the election processes, such as bringing out of reg registration card, accreditation of the registration card and the person that is voting, then counting the number of voters and announce them, give them the electoral, the, the, the ballot paper to, to choose their candidate and their choice of party. So to, to drop the ballot paper as well in the ballot box and to announce the end of the election, to do the, the filling of the necessary papers by the preceding officer from the high neck and announce the results, paste it, give the copy to those that they're supposed to give the copy to, and announce the closure of the election. Not only that, the electoral watchdog, whereby the international bodies and an individuals are watching the process of election to ensure that there are no uh, rigging during the election, and the, the official, the, the INEC is the electoral bodies that carried out the organization function, the monitoring, the monitoring function, and the coordinating function. Then the next one is right to elect and be elected. Right to elect is talking about a voter. Right to be elected is talking about the candidate. We all have the right to do that. When those that are not up to 18 years or above 18 years, up to 18 years they are voting, they can be issues of not having free and fair election. And when you do not meet the requirements as a candidate, when they have record of insanity, they have record of crime, crime in their records, all these things have caused the election not to be free and fair. But once they are in place, then it is important. And in the course of voting, or in the course of to be voted in, all these should be put into consideration. There should be no discrimination in color, there should be no discrimination in gender or sex or language or religion or political or, and so on and so forth. The next one is voters registration and register. Register is very, very important. You must ensure that you register and all the necessary details are in the register. Democratic electoral campaign where people have been educated on what to do on the election date not only that, this is where people have been told the intention of each political party and their candidates. And the, the, the sponsorship of the political parties as well, by giving them funds by the government and ensuring that they have access to the media is also important. And the political party and the candidates registration, this is announcement of the political parties registration. They must let them know when the registration starts and let them know when the registration ends. And there should be freedom of expression and access to media so that no ruling party will be dominating the power, the, 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 the media and intimidating others. These are the points that we needed to know for when free and fair election needs to be to be to, to be achieved. The lesson note has been uploaded to websites, copy it and do your necessary assignments. So we meet in the next class. Stay safe.